What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Well, it's official folks. The Kissing Booth 3 is going to happen. Netflix taped it and everything. And they did it without anyone suspecting a thing. Kudos to you, Netflix. And since it's probably going to be the last movie, we wanted to look at the 10 things that need to come back in The Kissing Booth 3. So, let's dive right in, shall we? Number 10. Lee and Rachel should end up together. I don't want to lose you. You're not going to. Of course we do. Lee and Rachel are absolutely made for each other. Ever since Rachel kissed Lee blindfolded at the kissing booth, we knew these two had chemistry together. And it's not like they don't have their problems. In fact, she is absolutely torn by the fact that Lee spends so much time with Elle. What she doesn't really understand is that Elle is basically his best friend, and they've never been separated for too long. You could see how heartbroken Rachel was when she found out Lee didn't ask Elle to give them some breathing room. We know, we know, they're just friends, but you gotta cut her some slack. She's actually madly in love with Lee, and when you're in love, and that translates into doing irrational things that you wouldn't do otherwise. Number 9. Ollie and Miles Dating Are you okay? <sighs> Who? Exactly. That's why we want them to be a bigger part of the movie industry. They are two homosexual boys who were too afraid to show their true feelings. While we were too obsessed with Elle, Noah, Marco, Chloe, etc, etc, these two had a sparkling relationship going on in the background. If you don't remember who they were, Miles was the student council president and Ollie is an athlete at the school. He's phenomenal at volleyball. Student council president, Miles. Yeah, he's amazing. While Ollie is blindfolded and a girl walks up to him to kiss him, but in the nick of time, he takes off his blindfold, looks at Miles, who's standing in the front row, and starts walking up to him. While everyone is waiting to see what would happen, Ollie kisses Miles in front of the whole school, and they all start cheering for them. And we want to see more LGBTQ representation in movies. And it would be really great if Ollie and Miles go to the same school as Elle, and we get to see them continue dating all through college. Number 8. Another kissing booth scene. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh, muscles. <laughs> would the kissing booth franchise be the same if there were no kissing booth? We think not. So we would like to see the writers smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. But in all seriousness, we would like them to incorporate another kissing booth scene in the kissing booth 3. Bear with us, in the kissing booth, the kissing booth was where Elle and Noah had their first kiss, and it was the perfect end to a perfect movie. This is the iconic scene that made us fall in love with the movie and its characters. And there was one in the kissing booth too, so we would really appreciate it if the writers thought about this and put it in the script. After all, it's called the kissing booth 3. We know it's going to be difficult to incorporate a kissing booth while Elle and Lee are headed off to college, but we're sure they've thought of something. Number 7. Elle and Marco should split the money from the dance competition. Hey, you wanna have some fun? You sure? Yeah! Okay. Let's do it! Get ready! Since Elle is planning on going to college, she needs to save up as much money as she can. Harvard is not cheap. To do this, her and Lee joined the video game dance competition. Sadly, Lee got injured while preparing for the competition and now the only partner she could count on was Marco, one of the hottest boys in the entire school. Long story short, Marco and Elle end up winning the competition and now we're left wondering what they did with that big, fat stash of cash they won as prize money. The fair thing would be for them to split it in half, and while fans think that Elle really needs the money for Harvard, or maybe even Berkeley, they still think the honest thing to do is split it. Marco did earn his fair share as well. Number 6. Elle and Lee should remain friends. I'm sorry. Was that the wrong color? If the past two movies have been a testament of anything, it's that friendships are hard, especially if you're a teenager. The main thing holding Elle and Lee together were the rules, and they both respected them until Elle fell madly in love with Lee's brother, Noah. This meant that Elle broke one of the main rules, and going forward, she did it again. Ever since they were little, they both wanted to go to Berkeley, and Elle just tossed all of that aside because she wanted to be together with the love of her life. And can we really blame her? But Lee didn't take this too well, 
so we're wondering which school Elle is going to choose. But whatever the case, we hope the writers didn't separate them in the kissing booth three. Number five, we need to see the problems with Chloe go away. Do you love her? Yeah. Then tell her, because not telling her is just stupid. Even from the trailer, we knew that bad boy Noah going to college is going to mean trouble for Elle and him. I mean, only a few days after Noah was there, he immediately met this friend named Chloe, and posting the photos on his Instagram profile meant trouble for their relationship. And we thought their relationship got past the point of no return when Elle found Chloe's earring under Noah's bed in his dorm. Plus, she did read their texts, and I'm totally soaked, and that's what she said, is not what you want to read in your text messages your boyfriend sent to some other girl. But Elle and Noah managed to work things out, and Chloe proved to be just another friend of Noah's. And if their relationship should continue, the writers need to remove all the friction that Chloe causes in the relationship. Number four, we need to see the problems with Marco resolved. Anyway, nice to meet you, but I'm, I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna go get myself a snack. Just like Chloe, we knew that Marco spelled trouble in Elle's world. Ever since Elle told everyone how Marco was a snack and he overheard her, things haven't been the same since. Plus, the competition only made things worse. They bonded really well, and then with the big finale, when Marco was holding her in his arms, she leaned in and kissed him, all while Noah was watching the whole thing. He ran, she ran after him, completely forgetting about Marco. This gave us a little hope, as it showed us she only truly cares about one man, and that's Noah. But we're not out of the bushes yet. When Marco's friend tried to convince him that Elle is not worth it, he just looked at him and said, yes, she is. This can only mean one thing. There's going to be trouble in the kissing booth three. We're just hoping the writers are going to smooth this friction out in the following movie. Number three, they should have a baby together. Send me a messenger pigeon, whatever it is. <laughs> OK, whatever it is, just don't give me space, OK? OK. Whoa. That came out of the blue, and we know it's a pretty crazy idea, but hear us out. Since most of the movie only gets three installments, if they're lucky, that would mean that The Kissing Booth 3 is going to be the last movie of the series. So wouldn't it be nice if the writers decided to make Elle and Noah have a child together? But they're in college, wouldn't that just complicate things? Well, of course it would. That's why at the end of the movie, the writers should jump to about four years into the future, when Noah and Elle had finished college. That way, they could tell us what happened after they finished college and maybe even introduce a little baby on the way. Wouldn't that be the cutest end to a beautiful love story? Number two, Elle should choose Berkeley to be with Lee. You know, my whole life, Noah has gotten everything that he has ever wanted. We've given this some thought, and we think that Elle should really follow through on her promise to go to Berkeley with Lee. He's been disappointed with her numerous times in the past few movies. It would only be fair if he and Elle went to the same school together. But you know what? That would mean Elle and Noah would be separated for about four years, and we don't know if a long-distance relationship is going to work for them, or anyone else for that matter. So you know what? Elle should choose Harvard to be with Noah. So you ready for Boston? Noah Flynn, you have no idea. Since she's on the fence when it comes to deciding which school she should go to, she should definitely choose Harvard. That way, she can be close to her boyfriend, and the relationship will be stronger than ever. But what would that mean for Lee and Elle? Are they going to stop being best friends? You know what? What if Lee goes to Harvard with them as well? We know it's pretty crazy, but the only reason he wanted to go to Berkeley was because he and Elle wanted to go to the same school where their mothers became best friends. But since he'll be with Elle, it doesn't really matter which school, right? Now, he might be a little late on getting that application, but still, it's worth giving it a shot because we would really be sad if he and Elle split up. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what would you like to see happen in the Kissing Booth 3? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.